listen closely to my teaching and learn common sense. My advice is useful, so don't turn away. When I was still very young and my mother's favorite child, my father said to me, if you follow my teachings and keep them in mind, you will live. Be wise and learn good sense. Remember my teachings and do what I say. If you love wisdom and don't reject her, she will watch over you. The best thing about wisdom is wisdom herself. Good sense is more important than anything else. If you value wisdom and hold tightly and hold, and hold her tightly, great honors will be yours. It will be like wearing a glorious crown of flowers. Now, what I just read was Proverbs chapter 4, 1 through 9, advance to the young. Advice to the young. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. So you kids out there, you adults out there, the adults are leaders, kids are followers. Kids are, aren't smart by their own, on their own. They have to learn something. They learn something from the adults. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> the adults are the lead monkey. The kids like, oh, I see them doing this. Let me slide in line. So, if you're a good, if you're a grown up out there, and your kid end up in college with a good education, you can go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Amen. So that means you taught your kid good. Amen. Teaching up a child in the way it should go. And when he is old, he should not prevail against it or run away against it. Train up a child in the way it should go. And when they are grown, old, they will depart find it from it. I would like you now to turn your Bibles to 22, Proverbs 22, 6. <coughs> child right from wrong, and when they are grown, they will still do right. The poor are ruled by the rich, and those who borrow are slaves of money lenders. Troublemakers get in trouble, and their terrible anger will get them nowhere. The Lord blesses everyone who freely gives food to the poor. Arguments and fights will come to an end. If you chase away those who insult others, the king is the friend of all who are sincere and speak with kindness. 22, Proverbs 22, 6. Well, that says a, a value of a good reputation. Good reputation. A good reputation is someone who cares, someone who who thinks who is who is wit, who is wit, who has wise, who is wise, who has wisdom, who is smart, who thinks of uh, smart things to do instead of being stupid and, and have a stupid mind. Like I'm still young, I go to boys and girls club. Every 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 time one of the staff says something to me, they say you're too smart to be stupid. And basically that means you as a smart, intelligent kid, you should not be doing anything stupid to get yourself in trouble. Back to Proverbs 4, advice to the young. Young kids out there follow the old. An adult doing something wrong, was the kid falls in line with them. So when the kid gets older, he remembers that and says, oh, I remember such and such and so and so. And he did such and such and so and so. And so I can do this. And they say, no, they in jail. Mm -hmm. No. No, that don't work. That don't work. That don't work. <laughs> you have to teach your kid to be wonderful. 
God loves everyone on this earth. On this earth right now, spinning on this axle. God loves everyone. God made everyone. And those adults who see other adults doing stuff thinking it's cool, you got kids watching you. So them kids gonna fall in line, do what you're doing, and the kids gonna get in trouble at the schoolhouse. Fighting, cursing, cursing out the teachers, disrespecting the teachers. I got one thing to say. If you a kid in here and you disrespecting the teacher, all I gotta say is, stay a child while you can. Cause kids these days ain't even seeing no more days. They, they, they young little babies and they ain't seeing no days. Babies that's been born, seeing no days. Stay a kid while you can. Give respect to elders, your elders. person who's watching over you right now is God. In his house right now is God. Amen. Let's say I want to be here tonight. Those adults out there, you know you did something wrong, you covered up for it, good job. You did a wonderful job. Nice recover. Kids doing, following behind you, saying follow the leader. Play and follow the leader. The adults do right, the kids do right. The adults who do wrong, the kids do wrong. Next thing you know, kids in jail just because of you. And you like, well, why, why, why kids in jail in an early age? Think of that. Think of that. Kids at, in jail, early age. Eight, nine, ten. Why? Why? These adults, these kids, we are the same, the same, except some are old and some are young. Kids out there don't know no better. That's why they follow us, right. us elders. They don't know no better. They don't know no better. That's why as us, we kids, follow the elder. Your mother, you teach your kid to be right. Your father, you teach your kid to be right. <laughs> Kids out there today ain't seeing no more world. They ain't even seen the world yet. Newborn babies ain't seen the world yet. Stay a child while you can. Stay in a child's place. Kids stay kids, adults stay adults. Leaders stay leaders, followers stay followers. Kids are followers, adults are leaders. You a adult out there, you, you, you're an adult out there, you did something wrong, you know you did something wrong, your kid did up in jail, blame yourself. Don't blame your kid, blame yourself. Because those kids out there following you, doing wrong, super wrong things and not and not and, and throwing other people under the under the under the bus. That don't work. Come on now. Kids out there throwing, doing fighting and all. And then throwing other kids under the bus. Bullying in school. Kids online are being killed from words. Some people words can be so strong to kill you. Like it says in um, Proverbs 13, Proverbs 13, verse 3, keep what you know to yourself and you will be safe. You just not noticing something, noticing something that other people don't know, keep it to yourself. <laughs> it says, and you will be safe. Talk too much and you're done for. Run your mouth to your mouth can run like water. Mm. <laughs> don't stop until you turn the faucet off. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. <clears throat> if you're in school and you know you talk too much, put some duct tape on your mouth. <laughs> teacher, when you raise your hand, teacher, ask a question. 
king of the top of the duct tape off. Oh, say yeah, what you got to say. <laughs> say what you got to say. <laughs> the answer is 13. She's like, what? <laughs> right down on the paper. 13. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed when you're done for. When you get into the eighth grade, it's going to make you feel like God is real. <laughs> And that's real. They gonna make you feel like putting a burden on your back. A burden on your back. But God is still there. God is sitting right there watching what's going on. Mm -hmm. Once you hit eighth grade, the, the third, fourth week, they gonna... I don't even know how to put it out. That's how bad it is. Eighth grade. Kids get beat up for something stupid. For nothing at all. Kids getting beat up for nothing at all. You hit middle school. Okay, you got good grades. You get past the eighth grade. Okay, you, you hit high school. High school, you think, oh, I'm grown. I can do whatever you want. Psych. <laughs> that don't work. You st you is still is living in your parents' house. <laughs> be 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 glad, be glad that you still alive. Cause they would have you know, blew your head off by now. Thank God for saying another day. Amen. Thank God for being still being alive. My mama told me basic instructions before leaving Earth. I'm walking, I'm walking to um the boys and girls club one morning. I hear this bird. The noise is getting on my nerves. I'm like, help the Lord, help me. He's like, and I'm like, I'm I'm talking to myself out loud. Are, do you seriously have to do that? Do you, do you seriously? And she's like, yes, the bird does. He's singing praises to God. Nobody shot him down yet, got ran over yet. Nobody poisoned him, gave him poison food. And that's what you're supposed to do. Thank God for seeing another day. Don't worry about the next day. Because before you hit the next day, you could, you could die in your sleep. You could take another step. You could go in a coma. No, go fall straight into a coma. I won't come back. That's how easy it is. God worked like that. Just be glad you're still alive. Everybody in this church right now. <laughs> Thank God for seeing another day. Talk too much you're done for. You hit high school. Now you you at a, a teen, a, a big boy age, big girl age. You ready? You ready to do some new stuff you ain't never done before? You're like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Next thing you know, you a drug dealer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. In the club, party, drinking wine and champagne at the same time. Mm -mm. That don't work. Going home, your people's looking at you like. What done happened to you? Somebody done knocked your left eye out or something? Next thing you know, you throwing up your guts. That's how it works. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why drugs is in this world, but it don't work like that. You 21. You don't leave your parents' house yet. You packing up your bag. She not here. I get to sneak out and hit the club. I'm 21 now. Yeah, so I can go get me a bottle of alcohol and go, party, party. No, 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 please, no. No, no, I say no. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Drugs can cause you some, can lead you up into something you can't get yourself out of. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with talking and lying. You're playing too much. 
laying ducks on people. Fight 